Oh, I can't wait to talk about the tech news today. Oh, tech stuff happens and then we time to talk about the tech news. <laughs> Twitter can often be a toxic place because its structure encourages impulsive thought diarrhea from accounts protected from repercussions by anonymity while limiting space that could be used to flesh out nuanced positions, but also bans people for breaking TOS sometimes. Elon Musk is concerned about the second part, so after asking in a tweet, what should be done? He apparently thought the answer was to spend about $3 billion to buy 9.2% of Twitter. That's what you do. When, when you're that rich, they let you do it. So stupid. The purchase makes him the platform's single largest shareholder, no! now owning four times more than its founder, Jack Dorsey. <laughs> Some analysts expect Musk to use his new position to leverage changes at Twitter or maybe eventually buy the company out to make sure that users can steal Reddit memes and contribute to the marketplace of ideas with cutting analysis like, oh hi lol, with impunity. Not to mention manipulating markets. <laughs> Google's deadline for Android app developers to actually use its Google Play billing system has arrived, and as expected, some companies have suspended sales of digital goods as a result, because paying Google a commission can understandably be a burden on small developers like Amazon. That's right. You didn't see this coming. Audible, which is owned by Amazon, will no longer support purchasing eBooks through the Android app, although signing up for a subscription will still work. Barnes & Noble has also removed the ability to buy eBooks through its Android apps, meaning you can't even buy books on their own Nook-branded tablets. They're just tablets now. Nooks without books? <laughs> I ain't looking. It was actually always a requirement for developers to use Google Play billing for digital goods, but for years, Google mostly looked the other way when developers didn't comply, and strangely decided to enforce its policy around the time that Epic sued it and Apple for their App Store policies. Maybe Google just makes so much money that they didn't even realize they were missing out on commissions. I don't know. Hey, Elon, maybe you should buy Google too. <laughs> <laughs> And Intel has unveiled new details about its block scale ASIC, which promises to play a major role in helping crypto mining companies achieve both sustainability and hash rate scaling objectives in the years ahead, because we were all worried about them not being able to profit off their huge investments in mining farms. It matters. What if they couldn't do it? No! The block scale unit can hit up to 580 giga hashes per second, meaning miners are gonna want this chip. But Intel claims it won't eat into production of its other CPUs and GPUs, because to produce them, it seems like Intel may be using other foundries like TSMC rather than its own. So it's only taking up bandwidth that TSMC could be using to make other chips that people want, leaving Intel with lots of capacity to make the only chips that anyone wants, Intel chips. You see how that's better? They're the good guys. Yeah, the blue stuff. Oh, what the? Hey, you got any blue stuff? Coca-Cola, Sunny D. Oh, blue stuff. Oh, blue drink. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Manscaped and their ultra premium collection. The all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man that covers every body part. Butt, balls, and don't forget, body. <laughs> <laughs> I did, did I write this? That's right, the Ultra Premium Kit has shampoo, body wash, hydrating spray, and deodorant to make man maintenance easier than ever. Plus, these products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan, because caring about your impact on the world is one of the manliest things I could think of. And look at me! You're like Chris Rock. Ah! So go to manscaped.com and use promo code TECH for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping. Sometimes the QuickBits are slow, but we still call them QuickBits or they get really offended. Dmitry Rogozin, the chief of Russia's space agency Roscosmos, said on Twitter that the restoration of normal relations with the country's Western partners on shared projects, like the International Space Station, is only possible if the illegal sanctions placed on Russia are removed. Russia's an expert on legal. <laughs> we know, we know. The ISS depends on Russian-operated modules to maintain its orbit, and if Russia pulls out of the project, it's unclear how it will actually, uh, yeah, stay in space. Maybe Elon can buy it. 9.2% is all we need to stay in lower <laughs> orbit, baby! <laughs> That'll help. Video Cards is reporting that according to their sources, AMD will soon launch five new Radeon RX 6000 series cards. The RX 6400, 6500, 6650 XT, 6750 XT, and 6950 XT, with the XT model sporting a faster 18 gigabit per second memory bandwidth. The cards are expected to launch May 10th, and like almost all of AMD's mid-generation refreshes, all signs point to them being pretty okay. Just, just different cards. There were these cards and now there's other ones. 
The UK government has picked the perfect time to announce that the Royal Mint will be creating an NFT as part of its forward-looking approach to crypto assets. Yes, the total market value of NFTs dropped from $23 billion to $10 billion between December and March, as more and more people become aware of the litany of scams pervasive in the NFT community. But, I don't know, maybe NFTs can benefit from the Royal Mint's initiative just as much as the world benefits from the Royals. A token for every corgi. <laughs> Give them to the peasants. Robotics engineering student Ken Pillanel gained some fame for building an iPhone with a functioning USB-C port, and now he's done it again, but in reverse. A USB-C port with a functioning iPhone. No, oh my god. <laughs> That's right, the man somehow fitted an Android phone with a functioning lightning port, making it materially worse. Material design. <laughs> but for April Fool's Day, it's okay to spend a lot of time on something just for the memes. That's what I told myself. An Elden Ring is notoriously hard, but some people sought to beat the game while making it even harder for themselves. For some reason, I don't understand why. Twitch streamer Seki managed to complete the entire game without taking any damage at all, while YouTuber Iron Pineapple beat it without directly giving any damage, using only summoned spirits to do his bidding. And my question is, why do these people punish themselves? <laughs> Have some self-respect, you're a human being. It's like punching yourself in the head, the game. I don't get it. Things are ugly in it, and that's cool. <clears throat> oh man, that was some good tech news. And I bet it'll even be even better on Wednesday, so come back and- Stop, ooh, I don't like this. Come back I... and just, there's so many tech news. I don't wanna ah, see this. Who wanna tell? Oh.